name, sorry. Um, uh, okay, in... so my my real first name is Abdel Wahed, but you know, Gray, you just, can just call me Abdel, right? Abdel. Abdel. It's easier. Okay. Great, right. thank you. Okay, so as you know, um, I'm Alicia and we are going today to have a mock lesson for 15 minutes sharp, right? Uh, you'll be my teacher, I'll be your guinea pig, right? And before we do that, would you just tell me a few words about your teaching experience, right? And the languages you speak, if you don't mind, okay? It's fine, great. Uh, my name is Abdul Wahed. Uh, my mother tongue is uh, the Arabic language. I speak Arabic and uh, and Berber too. I got two native uh, native languages, and I, I have a, as as far as my teaching experience is concerned, I have been teaching English uh, for over fifteen years since two thousand eight. I teach basically and officially um, uh, younger learners, let's say at school, uh, let's say uh, governmental public school. And, uh, you know, uh, together with, the, you know, my uh, work uh, at school, my office work, I also uh, teach as a part part time uh, job teacher, English teacher uh, who teaches online as, as well as on site. So I dealt with I had the experience to deal with different, you know, students of different age groups, adult learners and also different learning needs, including those who want to learn English, absolute beginners or those, uh, you know, who just want to upgrade their uh, English and take it to the next level. Or those also who want to, you know, professionals, many professionals who want to uh, learn a specific English related to their uh, workspace. OK, wonderful. OK, thank you very much. Sure. And if you're ready to start our conversation and lesson. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I it's, mean, it's yeah, fun. so you probably got the message right from the school that uh, you're going to have an upper intermediate student, adult. Yeah, and uh, you can choose any topic you wish, right, for for the talk, right? OK. OK, nice. Yeah. All right, yeah. shall we start? Yeah, absolutely. All right, so uh, as far as the topics, maybe uh, there, there were some suggestions, you know, from, you know, the uh, part. You didn't get the suggestions? No, you didn't get the uh, list of topics? I got, I got uh, three basic suggestions. Yeah, All right. yeah. That, okay, that's here what we go. they are. Right, okay, it's fine. They right. can pick any, right? All right, so no Any worries. choice. Okay, so here we go, so. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go, so. Again, go. right. Well, guys, hello. Hi. How are you doing? I'm okay. How are you? I'm doing well. Thank you very much. Where are you from? Um, Russia. Okay. What's your name? Lisa. All right. My name is Abdel and I'm from Morocco. Right. Are you ready to learn today? Yeah. Okay. So uh, let me ask you a very simple question here. Uh, if you want to, you are you know, someone who is thinking to start up, uh, you know, new business and so on. Uh, what are maybe some of the worries or concerns that you may have? If I start my own business? If you want to get started. Mm, um, okay. Maybe to, to lose everything I invested mm -hmm. or to have a big responsibility. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Do you have your own business? Yeah, sure, you great. Do? <laughs> I do just, okay. you know, uh, my own business is my profession, great, you know, as, uh, you know, as a teacher, great. And, uh, you know, that's it, great. So, but sometimes we may think of setting up, great, our own business and so on, right? Well, uh, so maybe some of the main concerns, great, that, you know, a person may have when he wants to set up his own business is these uh, financial concerns, right? We may have ways so we usually think about money, right? So that we need money in order to get started. Uh, do you agree with me? Yeah, absolutely. All right, nice, great. So today we are going to deal with a very, start with a very simple conversation. Uh, it all goes around the money, right? Okay, so we're gonna have here a person, right? Or a boy who is, whose name is Ted, and he wants to, uh, you know, to set up, start his own business, set up something new. And he is in a conversation with his mom, right? You know, we're going to discover and I'm going to ask you some questions regarding this conversation. All right, so allow me to share this screen, shall I? Right? Here we go. <clears throat> okay. 
Can you see the screen? Mm -hmm. All right, nice, great. At the same time, great. At first, we are going to listen to the conversation and then follow at the same time. All right, then uh, we'll go back again to the very beginning. Great to ask you about the uh, some basic uh, expressions that we have here in the conversation and also some basic comprehension questions to understand the conversation. Then we'll end up great uh, speaking a little bit about the, uh, you know, the, the topic in question. All right, so just follow and listen to the conversation. Lesson eight, Ted forms a rock band. Ted plans to become a successful musician. Well, can you listen to the conversation? Yeah. Okay. I can First, hear. he needs Susan to loan him money for a new guitar. Susan suggests that Ted bake cookies to earn the money. You're in good spirits today, Ted. I've got great news, Mom. What is it? Amber and I are going to start a rock band. Good for you. Mom, I'm not going to beat around the bush. I need to borrow $1,000 for a new guitar. Ted, your father and I can't shell out that much. We aren't made of money. You're not? I thought you were millionaires, like Donald and Ivana Trump. Ha <laughs> ha, this is no time to be a wise guy. I promise, I'll pay you back. How? We're going to take the music world by storm and make lots of money. That sounds like a pipe dream. Aren't high school rock bands a dime a dozen? Yeah, but we're different. With my guitar playing and Amber's beautiful voice, we're sure to make a splash. Well, we're going through hard times. You're going to have to work for that thousand dollars. How? You can bake cookies. I bet Mrs. Clapton never made Eric bake cookies. But I guess those are the breaks. All right. Okay, so the conversation is over, right? Okay, so uh, let me ask you, Grace, if you get the, you know, the meanings and, and understand the conversation. So, uh, what did what what news? What kind of news, Grace, did uh, let's say Ted uh, break to, to his mom, mom, Susan? That they are going to start a rock band. Great, yeah, fantastic, yeah, great. So, uh, what does he need from his mom? Money. One thousand dollars. Good, Grace. Yeah. Did uh, the, the, did the mother manage or afford to you know to pay the money? Um, she she didn't want to, but I think eventually she agreed. Uh -huh. he... Right. Uh, do you think she agreed to pay the you know the, the money? How much did, did Ted request from his mom? One thousand dollars. One thousand dollar, right? So, did Susan directly, you know, agree to give him the money just like that? No, but the, I think she, she will. <laughs> she she said something. You will have to work for that money. So, uh, which means right. she will give it to him. All right. So it, exactly, right? Do you remember what kind of work uh, she suggested to him, right, or offered to him to to do? Something like baking cookies. Okay, baking cookies, great. Yeah, sometimes we, uh, you know, sometimes when we need money, great, so we may be obliged to do something that we never, great, uh, maybe like or uh, are familiar with, great. So, uh, you know, eventually, do, do you think that Ted agreed, let's say, to do that, such, such a kind of work? Um, <laughs> it's not clear. I think uh -huh. no. Okay, so let me put it another way. Let's look at the at the end, right? Maybe what he said at, at the end. I bet Mrs. Uh, Clampton, Mrs. Clampton is a famous guitarist, and maybe Ted is just uh, dreaming to be just like Clampton, right? You know, famous. Ah, yeah, he agreed. Right? Yeah, but he I said, guess those right? are the breaks. Hmm. Uh, but so I don't understand this expression. Okay, so what the, what does this express? This is an idiomatic expression here. Those hmm. are the breaks. Especially, this is something that we say, especially when we are in a hard time and uh, when we are obliged to do something and you have another, nothing to do about it, right? Something bad happens, but you have nothing to do about it. You just say, oh, those are the bricks. I have nothing to do. I have just mm -hmm. to accept the situation, right? And cope with it, right? Okay. Did you get the meaning? Mm -hmm. Right. We have much more expression, many more expressions to learn here. What, what does it mean here, good spirit, before we come to talk about money and so on? Um, this means that uh, he's happy. Ah, very good. Yeah, so excited, up on the right and so on. Yeah, right. Well, next, uh, good for you. Ted mm -hmm. said, Amber and I are going to start a rock band. Susan said, right, good for you. 
It it means uh, very well. Yeah, very well or well done. Yes, good job, yeah. great. It means good job. It's a kind of uh, compliment or encouragement, great. Okay, and then Ted, uh, is, I'm not. I said I'm not going to beat around the bush. What does it mean mm. to beat around the bush? It means to um, not to say directly. Aha, uh -huh, great. So just to keep, you know, talking around you know, the subject. You don't go to the point directly, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, I said I need to borrow $1,000 for a new guitar, right? So Susan said that she can't shell out that much. To shell out? Yeah, it's like to give everything. Uh -huh. Aha, to, to, yeah. to pay, great, to you pay. know that much, right? Yes. Uh, what kind of, of verb is it, right, this uh, verb? You got sh shell out. When a verb is composed in this way, right? With, you mean uh, phrasal verb? It's a phrasal verb, excellent job, great, yeah. This is a phrasal verb, great, related to money, it means to pay, great. Okay, so uh, she said we're not made of money. <laughs> is there anyone that is made of money, great? Right? What does yeah. mean to be made of money? We don't have, we are, we are not, okay, we don't have a lot of money. Aha, uh -huh, we don't have a lot of money, it means we are not. We aren't. Mm -hmm. Someone who doesn't have a lot of money, it means he's not. Rich, you mean? Rich, yeah, simply, we are not rich, we are not that wealthy, great, okay? And uh, again, Susan, she said, great, uh, haha, this is no time to be a wise guy. All right, Ted right now is uh, making some kind of sarcastic comments, let's see, on his mom and that you, mom, great, and, and daddy are millionaires just like Donald Trump and, and the Ivana Trump. So, and then Susan said, great, hey, right, this is not time to be a wise guy. What does it mean to be a wise guy? Um, don't show off, like, how clever you are. Ah, uh -huh, yeah, great, exactly, great. Or uh, in another way, we also say, uh, don't be that uh, obnoxious person. Obnoxious person, you know, sarcastic, uh, someone who makes sarcastic mm -hmm. comments, right? Okay, uh, you know, but, you know, it, 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 that's not his his own, great, uh, his own habits, great, okay? Because she knows you know his son very well. So at this time, because he has a certain purpose behind that, he wants to get money and so on, right? So that's why he's behaving in such a way, right? Well, uh, take the music world by storm, right? Ted is dreaming to just be a famous music musician and then take the music world by storm. What does it mean to take the music world by storm? Like conquer the world. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> but I right. don't understand by storm, like quickly or what? Uh, quickly, exactly. Very good. Yeah, it means to gain and get popularity so quickly, right? By storm, just conquering the whole world, right? Of of arts and music, right? Well, uh, when you hear such, uh, uh, you know, singing, Susan would say, right? And anyone maybe would say, that sounds like a pipe dream, right? Pipe dream. What does that mean? Maybe not a real dream. Uh -huh, it's not a real me, a dream. It's a realistic, a realistic hope, right? A realistic, realistic hope, right? It's uh, you know, right? Sometimes uh, when somebody, right, so maybe just uh, you know, express a wish, which is great, far away from his capacities and so on. You can just say fat chance. We also say fat chance. It means or when pigs fly, right? We say, great, maybe I'll travel to America and then join a great a democratic party and and then work hard and then become the president of America. What? Great fat chance or Olympics fly, right? It means that a pie is some, some kind of pipe dreams, right? Okay, so um, she said here, Susan, aren't high school or rock bands? I mean, what you want to set up, right, or start up? Aren't they a dime a dozen? What does it mean that something is a dime a dozen, especially if you want to start a certain business, you know, right? It's a dime a dozen, right? It means it's not something, so... Doesn't cost? Uh, it's not in terms of cost, but it's not something so special, right? 
Mm. I mean, you can find it anywhere. You know, it's uh, like very common, right? Okay, so, and if you want to be a successful person in a certain business, we usually need to start up something that is great, a little bit rare, and not everywhere, right? Okay, did you get the meaning? Mm-hmm. Uh -huh, right. Okay, Ted uh, said, uh, yeah, but we are uh, we are different, okay? So let's see what makes him so special. With my guitar playing and Amber's beautiful voice, uh, Amber is uh, his girlfriend, we are sure to make a splash. What does that mean here, to make a splash? Like be popular? Uh, become popular and successful, very good, yeah, right. Especially in a very, very maybe limited time, right? As you can find great on YouTube sometimes, great when someone made a video, great YouTuber, and then the video goes viral, great. Okay, so we say that this person has just made a splash, right? Well, hard times. I think it's very self-explanatory, mm -hmm. hard times, right? Difficult time of difficulty and so on. And we say those are the bricks. Can you remind me of the meaning of this expression? You can do nothing about it. Uh, right, yeah, it's, uh, you know, we say something, uh, you know, when something so hard ha uh, bad happened, right, and you have nothing to do about it, right. Well, let's do very short, right, uh, practical task just to make sure how you understood these expressions, and then let's uh, come up to the end, right, to finish, right, talking about money a little bit, right. Well, uh, we got here a very simple multiple option task. Uh, you got to choose the right word to complete you know, to correct, to choose the correct answer. We got here, um, uh, number one, I'm in good spirit, all right, mm -hmm. okay, and so on. That, does this mean I'm happy, drank, or tired? Happy? Yeah, exactly, very good, excellent job, great, right. it means I'm happy. Number two, renting an apartment on Park Avenue, great, right, in Manhattan, and so on. Unless you, you are made of money, made of money, does this mean wealthy, strange, or famous? Wealthy. Wealthy or rich, very good, yes. Three, uh, my friend's daughters paints beautiful pictures. In a few years, she'll take the art world by storm. Does it mean something bad will happen and so on? Or she'll draw an excellent painting of a storm? Or she'll become a very successful artist? She'll become a successful artist. Yes, yeah, great. Yeah, she will conquer the world of art. Great. Well, number four, Susan thinks that Ted's plan to become a famous rock star is a pipe dream. What does that mean, pipe dream? Or something that is not likely to happen, or to its biggest hope, or something yeah. very realistic. A. Yeah, it's A, correct, very good. Right, if you are looking for a new suit, you shouldn't have a problem. Clothing shops um, in this town are a dime a dozen. A dime a dozen, that mean hard to find, or everywhere, or lousy, correct? Everywhere. Aha, uh -huh, yeah, very good, yeah, they are very common everywhere, it's not something so special. Great, okay, so let's see number six here. Um, he knew he'd made a splash when all the girls started singing along. There is mean uh, done something wrong or made a very positive impression or created waves? B. B, yeah, very good, yeah, made a very positive impression, right. Being a wise guy, very intelligent person, an obnoxious person who makes sarcastic comments or a person who whom everybody admires? B. Great, it's B, very good. Yes, obnoxious person, great. Nicole wants to attend Yale. Nicole is uh, Tit's uh, sister, but her parents don't want to shell out 100, of, uh, you know, dollar grant. This means waste, shell out waste, or save or pay. Pay. To pay, very good, yeah, excellent, great. Okay, now, so we got this, uh, a couple of, you know, expressions which are directly relevant. There are many, many expressions out there, right? But these are directly relevant to money, right? We'd like just to make sure about the meaning of these expressions again, and then uh, I would like you to use them uh, in, in a sentence, right, as an example. To be made of money means what? Be rich. To be rich, very good, right? And to pay back? To return the money. The money, right? Uh, what do we call that money that you have to return? Debt. Yeah, it's a debt, right? Sometimes a loan, right? Very good. And then to borrow something relevant, right? To pay back and to money in general, right? Okay, so when you take some of the money from someone, what is the verb that we can use to express that meaning? To borrow? To borrow from, great, yeah, to borrow money from. And uh, for the person who, you know, gives you the money, uh, we say we can use the verb to express that meaning. 
I give you the money. It means I lend you the lend money. The money. Yeah, I lend you the money. Right. Yes. And then shall out we say it's pay to, to pay. Right. Well, nice. Great. So uh, maybe we come to the end of the lesson, but I would like you to come up with examples of sentences using right, these words. All right. So can you uh, give me an example in a sentence using uh, the expression made to be made of money? Right. I am. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Nobody, minute. nobody is made of money. <laughs> nobody is made of money. Great. Yes. OK. Uh, well, pay back. Mm. Everybody should pay back their, their loans. Uh -huh. Everybody should pay back their loans in due time, maybe, right? <laughs> Otherwise, mm -hmm. right, you will have to pay more, right? Well, borrow from, borrow money from. Um, I try not to borrow money from anybody. <laughs> Great idea. I try not to borrow money from anybody, right? How about lend money to you? Um, if you lend money to your friend, he should be ready to lose it. Aha, uh -huh, great. <laughs> yeah. Okay, especially your closest friend, right? Yeah. Shell out. Um, it's difficult to shell out one thousand dollars for mm -hmm. for anything. I don't know. <laughs> okay, for a so, you know. for a for a family with many kids. All right, so or just to spend the summer holiday, great. Right. Loan or uh, debt? Okay, I've already used loan. <laughs> Mm -hmm. um, and actually, I think that too. OK, so everybody should pay back their loans or debt. Oh, great. Yeah, so oh, nice. Well, the last question here, when you maybe you are in need of money, right? Uh, what is the first thing that you think of, right? In order to, you know, work out situation and go and, and earn. <laughs> Just go and uh, borrow uh, and. Uh... No, no borrow. I will make the money. I'll earn somehow. Oh, great. Yeah, I try to make it great. Right? Not just uh, not borrowing, right? Mm -hmm. Just like I do as uh, maybe, right, you know, starting up a business, right, or do something like that. But sometimes it's, uh, do you think that it's uh, the question of, as uh, Ted, right, uh, raised here, you want to set up, right, a uh, new business, which is great, uh, forming a rock band and so on. You think that, you know, uh, it's necessary to have money in order to set up a new business? Mm, for him, maybe because he needs a guitar. My... Uh -huh. Yeah. And in general, is there a business that you can start without money? Of course. <laughs> there are a lot. Great. Mm -hmm. Okay. That sounds great. Okay. Thank you very much for your attention. You really did thank a great you. job. Great. And you deserve great, really golden star. Great. You really interacted with the lesson. You interacted, uh, you showed how. You know, you understood, let's say, all the expressions that we have seen today. And I hope that you have learned a great lot great from yes. this. Thank you very much. Thank yeah, it was really right. uh, informative. Yeah. <laughs> OK, uh, the student learned a lot. <laughs> OK, <laughs> so in the final part of our um, session, I would like just to tell you a few words about the position we are offering. OK, okay. so um, Skying is the largest online school in Eastern Europe and uh, rapidly growing one and apart from standard one-on-one -on -one and group classes uh, they have a newly introduced system of short classes called talks like we did today so they are 15 minute conversational sessions and students choose to have a class like that whenever they wish during the day and when you are ready to teach some classes you log into the system show that you're ready and the system then matches you and a student to talk on a topic of choice the details of how it works on the platform will be known during the induction training and from a teacher, we expect great communicative skills, the ability to support and lead the conversation so that the student benefits from the practice. The feedback at the end of the lesson is expected when it's appropriate. Mm -hmm. And we need at least 15 hours available during the week. Do you think you can make that? Yeah, 15 hours is OK. Yeah, I just right. have 15 hours, uh, you know, per week in my former work. So as I said, great, I still have enough time, you know, during the, the week for uh, such mm -hmm. a part-time online job, yes. I'll send you the peak hours in Skype, okay? Okay. In the chat, uh, th this, oh, sorry. Okay, these are the uh, hours yeah. that you'll get most of your students. Okay, wait a sec, didn't copy that. 
All right. And they're almost caught time, so yeah, I have to uh, adjust that to a time zone, okay? Yeah. Um, uh, you'll get the information about the payment after the managers listen to the interview and revise the results, yeah? And the details will be in the follow-up email from the school. So my mission is complete here as a methodologist, right? Um, now, I'll, like, the managers will <laughs> uh, yeah. deal with it, yeah? And if you have any questions for me, right, you're very welcome. All right, thank you. Just uh, your remark, uh, your feedback regarding the lesson, right? It was a quick oh, one. My. <laughs> Actually, I'm not the one who will, you know, <laughs> revise the, oh, the okay, interview. Okay. So the uh, lesson so. is recorded, great, maybe. And I'll just, uh, you know, role playing the student, yeah, and give some general information. So it's fine, it's fine. Sorry. <laughs> one more question. Thank you very much, guys. Wait, inshallah, for details. Thank, thank you. you. You have a wonderful day. It was a pleasure. Very much. You. Right. Thank you for your time. All the best. Thanks. Bye bye. Take care. Right. Goodbye.